the resources that is needed to run a community, how do you do that if you don't have an organization like Walnut Way? I like working for them because they really do rely on the residents. And as a resident, you may not always have the time, wherewithal, you know, the knowledge. You may not have that, but we can come here and talk to their staff. And the staff is quite, quite resourceful and very helpful people, very helpful people. And they seem to care about us. And I think that's why you have to have an organization like Walnut Way in the community so that the community can feel a part of something and can say, yeah, they're doing good. Our mission is to create an economically diverse and sustainable community, primarily through community engagement, environmental stewardship, and catalytic development. In the communities that we serve, health and well-being is at the core of our work. And so understanding that there's some interconnectivity across all communities, across all cultures and ethnicities. So we're working to solve our challenges in our particular target area, but we also have that commonality to support other groups who are doing similar work. Communities, neighborhoods, they're only as strong as the institutions and organizations that exist there. So our work is about making sure that folks have the opportunity to understand what the systems are that exist around them, have the outreach and education so they can engage with them and help them navigate to improve their own quality of life, their families, and also the broader community. Yeah, being a part of the, the Institute for Sustainable Communities, specifically the Partnership for Resilient Communities, has really helped us establish the capacity necessary to scale into the work in a way that is impactful for folks. And more specifically, what I mean is, when we think about capacity building, we mean that at the individual level, for individuals to gain the knowledge, expertise, and support to be able to be aware, informed about what the issues are, and again, engage with them. But then also the capacity to implement at the neighborhood level um, improvement projects, projects that have an impact on the beauty that you see in your neighborhood and, and also the other elements connected to, again, climate change, whether it's the stormwater and flood mitigation, but also creating beauty out of those situations. And so that's what's important. And, and in this work, uh, working with PRC, what we've been doing is basically building the muscle and the discipline in this broader network to tap into to know that we're not alone as we're doing this work. There are examples of success and the challenges that most folks face who are part of this cohort, they're very similar challenges. So we're able to learn from each other and implement those solutions in our community. 